G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel Bonzo Works. Today, um, if you've been following my channel for a while, you would have seen this last year, this group. This group I put together, uh, it's a spruce group. Um, I'm made up of three trees. Now they're pretty big trees. Now, I don't want to stand next to it because it's um, got to get a lot of sun glare. But um, it's a... Let me put my hand up. Okay, how big it? How big that? There you go, just quickly so you can see the size of it. Oh, a good meter at least. And a bit. But um, I'll come back. Um, well, I'm hoping to do some work on this. Uh, it's really aging nicely. The bark's quite nice and fissured. Um, I just want to today it's about maintenance, maintenance of, of trees, maintenance of any any bonsai. Now, in this case, this this tree I didn't touch for a whole season because I had done so much work to it. Now it's a matter of the spring's coming, so spruces tend to or they do only push one bud or one set of buds and expand each year so they do their spring growth and that's pretty much it they burst the buds and then that's pretty much all you're going to get from them um, which is great it does it once a year so you know where the buds are now you can actually if you have a close look you can see where the buds and they're starting to swell so you know where they, we know what's happening but today's about cleanup now it's overgrown there's branches i can see that have died a little bit there's um uh, just branches that have Y starting to cut in so it's a matter of maintenance so this is all about maintenance and I'm hoping you guys you know after you've done the styling of a tree that you come back and keep maintaining it so doing a bit of work now on this tree uh, we'll get it looking really good um, not much not much more to tell you but what I'm pretty much going to do is start on this tree on the main tree get that looking perfect and then I can work on the medium sized tree which is the next one and then work on the, the youngest tree over there which is probably, like, probably one of the best there that's quite nice and um, healthy that one looking this is really healthy too the middle one's probably kind of getting lost because all the foliage in, the, in its way so it's important to just um, show those off again properly um, but first things first probably I'll go through the tree and eliminate anything that's dead any branches that have died or or any wire that's cutting into into the tree before I reapply wire or anything like that. Anyway, I'm, I'm not sure how much you'll get out of this one, but we're going to give it a go uh, because yeah, maintenance is really important. All right, everyone. So you probably can't see too much progress, but I've been working at this for a while now. I've just thinned out all this all this area here, nice and thinned out, rewired what I need to. I cleaned up all the dead or all, all the old um, needles that are usually on the back. Of the branches this is all fresh new growth in areas i cut back to a bud that i can see that's going to open this this in the next um, month or so so it's a bit of cutting back pushing you know cleaning up all the wiring rewiring area areas patting them out and trying to trying to do it now I'm up to this area up the top it's probably can't see it because it's too far back it's all this area here it's really heavy and i'm going to go through the process of um, cleaning up thinning out and then pushing back down and rewiring it so I should end up with a much cleaner tree, much cleaner lines, nice and nice and um, even. You can see how long these are. So I'll cut back, I'll find a bud on the inside. There's lots of buds on the inside, so you cut back to a bud and then it's off it goes again. So that's the process. I will try and I am trying to gonna restyle this bit, bring this right down, um, bring this into this spot here, and then put an apex in up here. So it should be a nice tree um, on this side. And then I'll get to the next tree. Probably can't see too much, but this entire first tree has been totally wide, restyled, cleaned up, pads, new apex, new branches, everything. So really looking nice, looks nice and compact now. All the pads have been padded out nicely, um, so looking really nice. I've done a lot of a lot of work on that area, this, this tree, so this sets up the next tree. So we'll move on to the next one. All it was was defining your pads again and cleaning up all the old dead needles. A lot of this was rewired, especially the apex, because it's way overgrown, and now it's much more compact. I'll come in and show you a close-up. <coughs> you see the wiring? See how we developed that pad, for example, there? And created the apex again. Okay, right, so I had previously had the wrong angle on the camera for this group. It's still a little bit low, the camera. I might in I have to increase the height a little bit. I think it's, if it's but to get the best view, it's probably around there. I need to put the camera. I haven't got a big enough stand for it. But you can see now the second tree 
has also been white. Uh, I'm not white at all, but I'm not 100% sure of some of the branches. So I'm going to see how this third tree sits in, in its place, in place, um, and work it. Just the front of the tree. So you can now see the one tree here, one tree there. All wired, all beautifully padded out, looking good. I just think one little, this tree needs to go a little bit this way. I have to come kind of in here, but just a little bit, a little bit there just to separate it. It's a little bit too straight. A little bit there. I'm, I'm hoping that last one I can bring it up. If I tie those two trees together, they might counter counter balance each other. This one will go a bit this way, that one will come back this way. And hopefully that's the last final position once I finish wiring that tree. I wasn't able to film the whole um, work I've done on the trees, but um, here is the finished product. Now the good news is I've upgraded my phone to a new, new phone, new camera, so hopefully you can see much more detail which is great, it looks, looks a lot better anyway. Um, <clears throat> some of the, really this was just the wiring job. Now I want to actually come in and show you the detail of the wiring. So maybe that will help you understand how you push branches back in that are really long and, and gives you this look. So again, windy as always in Melbourne, doesn't stop. Um, so just let's have a look at the detail of the wiring. Let's have a look maybe at uh, this this branch in here so it's a really long branch so I've been able to twist it back push it back and you notice the big the lot of curves and bends in it so I can actually shorten the branch again here twist and twist and twist another good one is over here see how it's all bent and twisted back so that the foliage can actually come a lot back a lot more in apex as well So really important, try and get some, um, decrease the size of these branches by pushing them back. This is a really good example. See how much, so much work has went going back into it. Anyway team, there's not much I can show you else I can show you on this, but um, lovely group. Uh, you'll probably see this in the future. Um, definitely, um, if you're keen on this one, this one is going to be... Maybe in November I'll be selling some trees. I think this one will go on the sales as well. So if you've got a nice spot in the garden, you want to make a feature tree, this will be it. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more with the new camera. So it should be much more detail. Thanks, guys. Bye.